We've said in the past, and we'll say it for years to come, that if ND Vision says one thing to people at all, it says this, God is calling. And if ND Vision asks you one question, it asks you this, how will you answer? God is calling, how will you answer? Each year it amazes me as you drive in the van coming up toward the university and you get off the freeway and our young people can see the Golden Dome, the excitement and the enthusiasm in their voices as they say, we're here, we're at Notre Dame. And to even listen to them all the more as they ride home in the van saying, it is the most beautiful place, it is filled with peace, it's calm. My favorite part of Notre Dame is probably Mary's Grotto, which is a replica of the one in Lourdes, France. It's um, so pretty. My confirmation saint is St. Bernadette, so I love it. I went there at night to pray the rosary, and the candles were just amazing to see them all lit, and it's a very holy place to be, and I loved that part the best. What is it about this place? My wife says, you need to go to Notre Dame 20 weeks a year, because when you come back, you are so jacked up out of your mind, wanting to take out the trash and paint the halls and do this stuff. Go to Notre Dame 20 weeks a year. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. I think what it has to do with is the fact that we foster the same community that the University of Notre Dame strives to foster. We pray together, we share all of our meals together, and we even live with one another. All the students who come live in the dorms for five days, which is a really big part of what we're about at Notre Dame. Walking into the Basilica here at Notre Dame was um, breathtaking, and it was so pretty because all the paintings on the walls are inspiring to you when you pray. We went in there for reconciliation and for mass, and most of the time I was looking up at the ceilings just thinking, wow, that's really pretty that God could have someone make that, and it's just amazing, and I just loved it. It's kind of hard to even begin to explain what the most beautiful or special part of this campus is, from the feeling you get when you first drive down Notre Dame Avenue and you see the dome in the background and the statue of Father Soren, from the tree-lined pathways to the architecture, the grotto, you name it, there's nothing about this campus that isn't beautiful. All of these different places and experiences on campus all wrap up into one atmosphere and one sense of tradition and family that you really couldn't get anywhere else. I'm starting to realize it ain't the athletics. This place makes me want to figure out just how good I can be. And that's not Notre Dame, that's God at Notre Dame. ND Vision is a unique experience of God and community at a unique place, the University of Notre Dame. Here we create the space for God to speak to each one of us individually and together as community. We invite high school students from all over the country to join us, and our message is always the same. Be yourself. Be open. Ask questions. Be alive. God's call is always for life. Yes, at times that means celebrating, but at other times it means reflecting in silence, and asking very difficult questions, and making serious commitments in faith. When ND Vision leads young people to look for how God is calling in their lives, we look everywhere. The keynote speakers we bring in from all over the country lead us to see how God is calling us as disciples and through conversion into relationships, as community, through prayer and sacrament, and ultimately into a response of faith that utilizes our own gifts. I'm going to tell you how your gifts are going to change the world. And the confirmation programs that I work with across the country, people are struggling to help young people get the notion of giftedness, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This program does both. It gives them some theological underpinnings 
But I think what's really cool is it helps them start asking legitimate questions about now. What are my gifts? Uh, how do I know what they are? Where could I possibly use them today? Not when I'm 25, not when I'm an adult. It helps start the idea of a discipleship while being a teenager. An important theme of our week here at ND Vision, and really in our call as Christians, is to put all aspects of our lives together. Taking who we are socially, in school, with our families, with our friends, in our faith, and bringing them all into contact with one another. As one of our keynote speakers says, quoting St. Ignatius of Loyola, we need to encourage the storm. But I want you to remember the two sides collapsing into one in the middle of the court. And I want you to couple that with a phrase that St. Ignatius of Loyola used, which is encourage the storm, okay? Think about this image of two sides crashing into one. We encourage the participants to bring their true selves to the table. We're all aware that we wear masks and we sugarcoat ourselves to different people based on what they think they might like. But when we say encourage the storm, we want for those different aspects of our lives to all mesh together as one. God can be a very real and relevant part of our lives, even as teenagers. It's not something you have to wait till you're old to care about. The themes and messages of our week, of what our church has to say, can meet us in every place, in every type of situation we find ourselves in in our lives. When we do discuss God, um, we realize that having that relationship with Him, um, in context of all our other relationships too, can make worlds of difference. And it's a beautiful thing when we can see all those aspects of someone's life come together and they can experience themselves as one child under God. Not only do we search for God's call at ND Vision by listening to the words and wisdom of keynote speakers, we also watch musicals that have been created for this program. It's not hard to guess, he burned a city, stole some gold, or killed a kitty. Hello? Bad, bad men do it all the time. Ten commandments came down from heaven. You're so evil, you broke eleven. The musicals really draw you in. The music is amazing. Some of the solos are incredible. And they get pretty funny because a lot of the dialogue is ad-libbed. But you don't know me. I have so many talents. Problem is, they're secret talents. <gasps> Evil talents. <gasps> the kind of talents you don't talk about with school counselor because, well, frankly, you crave global domination in ways that school counselors generally fail to appreciate. <laughs> Who would have guessed the prodigal can You're getting a mix of some of the best theology and scripture with some of the funniest Broadway style production that draws young people into characters that help make parables and gospel stories come alive. The times that I served. When we celebrate sacraments, we celebrate our communion in the body of Christ. And I think that's one of the most powerful elements of Indie Vision. Young people come here from all over the country and they have a really powerful experience of the church. I think it's important that they see so many other young people their age really getting into the sacraments and making this church their own. Here at ND Vision, throughout the week, we actively express our faith through the celebration of the sacraments. It's a beautiful thing to watch what we call the flow of grace as hundreds of high school students enter into and return from the sacrament of reconciliation visibly changed. Reconciliation was the most awesome reconciliation I've ever been to. I really got closer to God through that. We also celebrate Mass and Eucharistic Adoration in one of the dorm chapels, which is where Notre Dame students gather on a daily basis to celebrate their faith. St. Francis Assisi once said, to sing is to pray twice. If that's true, then I've prayed about a million times over this week. Active participation is essential to ND Vision. This is not a passive experience. One of the ways that we respond actively to this opportunity is through the celebration of the mysteries of our faith, through prayer and sacrament. The entire week at ND Vision is framed by the sacraments, whether it's Mass and Reconciliation together in the Basilica, praying the Liturgy of the Hours each morning and evening, 
or getting together for an informal rosary late at night at the grotto. We came down to the grotto for one last time this year and eight of the young people from Mater Day were kneeling there in prayer and one of the young men came over to me and he hugged me and he said, Miss Steves, this experience has changed my life. I am a better person because I've been here at ND Vision. I've had the opportunity to pray in a different way. Just as the sacraments are the source of our life as Catholics, so they are the rhythm that guides our week in ND Vision. All that we learn from our keynote speakers, what we hear in music, see in the musicals, how we celebrate our faith in the sacraments, all of these things we invite our high school students to bring into their small groups, which are led by Notre Dame students. This is the place where they can really relate what they are learning to their own life experiences, where it is absolutely safe to ask questions, to share stories. My favorite part of the week is when we break up into our small groups. It's amazing to know that kids my age from all across the country feel the same way that I do and think the same things that I do. And there's really just a certain sense that you can share anything you want because at first these are strangers and then you'll move back to your respective houses. But for that brief moment you're able to share a big part of your life that you may not be able to share with your friends or, or with somebody close to you. As a mentor in faith, you know, we're not here to tell you who you should be or what you should believe. But instead, we want to be here for you to find out where you're at, uh, what you're about. It was great to see one of the girls in my small group who had been struggling with uh, a situation at home feel like she was ready to return home with a new sense of optimism and a, a new commitment to truly make things better with her family. My relationship with my brother. <laughs> my relationship with my brother is better than it ever has been. I've learned about myself, about him, and about how God acts through both of us and towards each other. He's my best friend, and that's all because of this. There's something really cool when teenagers start seeing and naming safely in a safe environment for other teenagers. You know, I think you're good at this. And they're also with college counselors closer to their age who think they're cool. And all those seeds that mom and dad and teachers have planted, all of a sudden, someone else waters, and for some reason, the atmosphere, the environment, begins to blossom and take root. For many of the high schoolers, this is the first time they've really come together with others to share their faith in such an open and honest way. They're sharing it with peers and people who understand that you don't have to be perfect to be holy. It is so vital to this program that the Notre Dame students we have working with us are here. They're just a few years older than the high school students can really relate to their experiences and help to lead in a very comfortable way small group discussions, prayer throughout the week, and all that we do at ND Vision. This is a transformative experience. This is a program that makes a difference. Lives change, people grow, gifts are uncovered. We continue to see great things coming from the lives of ND Vision participants. God is calling. How will you answer? We invite you to ND Vision to find out.